Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name is Ash. The value proposition of an NFT game is that the assets within that game, the characters, the weapons, the tools, are all immutable in that the value that a player creates whilst playing with those assets in a game can then be traded or owned like an NFT. A problem that I've come across in the last week whilst building my NFT game is that in order to generate assets within the game, it's currently very clunky because you have to be able to write code, be a developer. But if I want to rapidly build my game and expand the team helping me do that, then the people I'm going to need will likely have to be developers or at least know what an NFT is, and I'd rather not have that time and resource bottleneck. And today I'm going to show you how Morales fixes this. I'm going to show you how to create an interface that means that in order to generate an in-game NFT asset, all you're going to need to know is how to fill in a text field and drag and drop a file and hit submit. And the first thing I'm going to do is ask you to go to the link down in the description under this video to the git repository for the code base so that you can clone it down and follow along with me. Because I think the best way to learn is just by getting stuck in and getting your hands dirty in the code. I'm going to break it down into three simple steps. The first step is the front end which is the react.js app using a few libraries to make it user friendly in the UI UX. But essentially all you're going to need is a bog standard input HTML fields with a file upload field and a submit button. Step two is taking those values from the front end form, including the media file, and compiling them together into a metadata file, which is then going to be uploaded to a decentralized file system, in IPFS in this case, that is then going to return a unique hash identifier, which in step three is going to be used to mint a token. So we're going to map the unique hash to the metadata file to a token ID. Turning the input about your asset into a token, a non-fungible token that is then immutable, it can be owned, it can be transferred, and functionally used as an NFT, tradable on marketplaces such as OpenSea. So let's get into the front end. Once you've cloned down the code into your local directory, open your code editor. I'm using Visual Studio. The code base that I've got here is forked, it's piggybacked off of a version of the Ethereum boilerplate, which is also in a link down in the description. This gives us a nice interface as well as all the Morales functionality for users to be able to authenticate so that I don't have to, so that you don't have to, it saves us time. But the thing that we're most interested in and think that's most relevant are these input fields here. These could be any HTML input fields including the file upload field and the button to submit the values from the form. The point is to turn these values from the interface into JSON metadata. What this code does is upload the image file to IPFS, the decentralized file storage system, via Morales's upload folder call, which then returns a unique link to the file, which we then take and put into a JSON file that compiles all of the values from the form, including this unique link to the file, into our metadata. This is our metadata which is then also uploaded to IPFS. And then finally, this IPFS URL to the metadata is then what we use in the minting of our asset to make it immutable, turning it into an NFT. So far we've just talked about off-chain stuff apart from IPFS, but now we're gonna have a look at how our JavaScript code interfaces with the smart contract, building our character by calling the Web3 execute function, which is gonna use the values from the front end as parameters to interface with the smart contract. The character token contract is a very simple NFT minting contract, but I've just labeled it as a character using the ERC721 standard because these are going to be characters that are going to be minted one at a time on the fly and they don't need to be batch minted. So ERC721 is perfect for this purpose. Simply put, this contract is basically an on-chain mapping for our front-end interface. So I'm developing locally at the moment, I'm not on mainnet, I'm using a testnet, I'm in fact using a local blockchain via Truffle. We've got plenty of tutorials on the channel about setting up Truffle so you can develop and test on your local machine, so go and check those out. But what I have Truffle doing is deploying this character contract onto my local EVM blockchain, which is going to give me back a contract address as well as an ABI. And these details are what I need to point my code base at my contract to interface with it via Morales calls. So let me just go and show you quickly how I'm doing that. I'm going to do this in my terminal in Visual Studio. I'm just going to reset my Truffle, my local blockchain. So it's going to reset my blockchain, rewrite the character contract and make a new address. Once my chain resets, I can use the ABI and the contract address. And then via Morales, Web3 execute function call, which contains the reference to the ABI and contract address, we're going to access all the functionality of the contract that we built. 
And in this example here, we're going to be passing the input data from the form on the front end as parameters to mint a character as an NFT through this Web3 execute function call that Morales gives us. And that is about it. Once we have our metadata compiled, uploaded to IPFS, we can then map that to our NFT ID so that forevermore, when a token ID is referenced or interacted with the character, there'll be an immutable reference to its metadata. It doesn't need to be any more complex than that to generate in-game NFT assets. A person now, thanks to Morales and this code base, a person can create an asset in your game with zero knowledge of code or NFTs. It's the kind of thing that you're gonna to need to save you time and dev resource in order to build your game rapidly. This is currently just a bare bones prototype iteration demoing the principle, which I'll be building out further in the coming weeks. But if you've got any questions about this in the meantime or anything you'd like me to build out, any features, Leave them down in the comments below. Join me in the Morales Discord, in the forum. Thanks for watching. Happy biddling. And I'm going to see you in the next one.